Good day everyone. Welcome to Multimed Design. This is a new project we want to embark upon. I want to start from scratch. Actually, what made this project come to my mind I want to render is that uh, it's a misuse flat development. What do I mean by misuse flat development is that the client wants something that will look like a mansion something duplex that look like okay it's a single building but going to occupy four people four people or four family so at the ground floor we have two bedroom each which are the two then at the fourth we have two bedroom then the upper one where the one side that the the client want to be living in contain with the something bent floor we do a form of a three bedroom now this is the realistic and this is how it's going to look when we start the project modeling it one after the other and get it done so i want to bring the video come to limelight please kindly see please subscribe on the button subscribe to the channel god bless you so let's start now this is the revit page we want to create the first two bedroom First two bedroom, then we mirror it. That will be a semi-detached before we proceed one after the other to the next one. So we are starting. Click on a wall. On the wall, you need to specify a lot of things. The first thing to do for yourself is to make this to be three thousand of height. Then the next one is to edit the type and change the, the thickness of the wall. 2 to 5 with that's 9 inches block for your own use then you continue proceed one after the other by drawing the first line which uh, according to the size our size is something is not up to the plot of land like 18 at the back then 31 by the by the side then at the front we have something like 14 meters so summary of everything is not to the plot of land in a legal standard so that's what we want to work on now so i'm starting to draw the first line of course this is something going to be like in this point so i'm shifting this to something close to the middle select move it to the middle good so i draw the the vertical line so put into your consideration when you are doing those the offset moment and things like that so that you need to get a parking space as well no matter what the case may be so now we do that and give this fitting situation so i'm getting it i'm doing the needful so here now I'm bring this close so first to make me arrange whatever i'm doing i'm going to do a temporary dimension so that we know the here i'm working the dimension of what i'm i'm designing so now i click this i change this one to something like <coughs> four and three eight three seven t enter good i think it's okay like that move here turn this one to three four three forty good but within the middle of this something unique need to happen so i'm going to adjust this to something like 120 it's going to contain a bedroom so i have shortened this a little bit so i'm going to increase it to three Six, let's be three, six. So from here now, I change the dimension of this to three thousand. Mm, let's say four thousand. Good. So here, I want to create the bedroom for this particular one. So I'm putting the bed for this one. So while I continue. With what I'm doing, 
perfectly so I'm going to generate a space in this place so this room is going to be actually sure damage the the total length okay and there's something that can be in backup on good so if this one is one meter let's say one meter yes this one should be two point eight so right this there is satisfied so here you bring it up then you begin to work on this spacing thing to do to create the space and then start working one after the other and you do the circulation so you get the two beds in space now the next need to do is the sitting room to have its own area and now this is the city room area just okay then you create a entrance porch then the kitchen side and the and the dining side so you did cross into city two so now you have a space to put your toilet now split every one of them and bring the space to life good so split split then you three more i think it is now you begin to do temporary dimension so that you know you have adequate space for everyone so this is the dining side good it's big enough good we we have enough space to use well, no matter what the case may be so that is enough space, enough atmosphere to work with. So we have, uh, we can expand this a bit, just like 4,800 because this is a room. To have some space, so enter. Good. So to the kitchen, we are having 1,750. Good. So. So dining is big enough and whatsoever I want to be taken can be taken from here. So now you select this and say select on instance in this place and delete them. Good. So now as you are done with this, you need to create the space for this tier. So I'm going to do that. So as I have this one. The space of it should not be more than what double way double leg surface can take to so one thousand eight hundred should be okay. That's general what so now what you do is that you mirror for this side and give you what you want. I'm going to do that now. Good. So you delete this that's overlapping. So now we have the old bedroom and two bedroom in space. So the this side belong to the stair or and things like that. So now as you are done with this, you need to do what we package this side. The reason why the this side you need to be repackaged is that just will be staircase at this side that we we convey the client the owner of the property up it's so going to make use of this by renting it out or maybe giving it to somebody that's going to occupy those place so why the upper floor where is going to stay is going to be given to himself so that's why the building having the unique style now what you do is that you bring this into into consideration by changing the pattern and idea to which the, the building will be reconstructed now just for that at this piece so when you have this in your design the next thing for you to do is to rearrange the whole system and give yourself 
a definite alignment now what we we'll do at this point is that we first of all make sure that this one is gone yes so the dining will be will be leaving i think will be okay like that expand this and bring it here good so you do the same thing on this side so the next thing is that you delete this there won't be physical toilet at that point today but it's going to be equal to something here good so we happen to the physical toilet somewhere around that dining area so we take this off again so this one expands and have a space to work with so now take it off to this level and begin to drag it down depends on the ideas of what you are building and what you are creating now we want to expand this space because now we are using some area to get some ideas so now click on this this side is it okay by our design the answer is no so we need to expand some space and we are going to expand the space based on what what we have in what in design so we expand this one based on the fact that we have 2800 for space of bed then we print this one by having 1700 1, so this one this space regular regularize the fact that the standard room is here another standard room is here this one is not too standard anyway but at least another room is here so what we do now is that we look at this briefly and see how we can still amend if possible but if it's not possible we can't do more than what we need to do or we'll continue with the basic of our design and we we'll get the whole things in line so when we work on that line on that level what comes to mind is that the whole area need to occupy by certain things so how do we do that that we are going to position everything in a very equal distance area so what we do now is that when we have said that staircase is going to occupy the space the kitchen of this was going to share the the grid of a uh, the grid of a uh, stair hall so and that one we mean that the staircase and the dining they are what of a unique position to one another so after we have done this with this what we just need to create now select a window and bring the so whatever we want to do we are adjusting it in a later so now we have a door entrance we're still going to change this but let's just give it an annotated center so that's okay if you want to know and there is space for for everything we have created so you put all this one here you see the good so you're having link aside and then here at the same time this back so I'm bringing something here and I'm bringing it within here so you enter from there as well and you enter the you stay here so all these ones are what we need at this situation so the entrance to the staircase at the back here. So this one has set to this direction. We have the other side at the same time. This place. So what I just want to do because of the structural elements, I'm going to put it all around this and we centralize everything before we go and adjust the possible ones. So this is the first graph floor plan. Please subscribe to this channel if you are watching for the first time. So if you are our regular please like comment whatsoever that you think as it's okay it's okay by the idea so now let us go back and do the needful putting grids where the grid is supposed to be so i'm starting my grid from this side 
is going to be grid line one i'm taking the next one which is going to be grid line two so like that grid line three then grid line four the fifth grid line the sixth one the seventh and definitely the eighth good so this grid line serve their purpose for structural elements and structural design by engineer so when you have this it's as even it assists you when you are doing your setting out actually on the on the site so here you are changing this one to alphabet so from there the alphabet will be consistent will be consistent and have them in place so alphabet a so do the same thing here we align it later and you have this d you align this so align this one that are not okay anyone that you know that took off issue with the alignment of center you align them you get what you want to get with what you are designed so from here now i want to use this as my reference point for all the other thing i've done so this one will occupy a perfect and permanent space and that is the way to soon to fix and we continue with that so this one centralized the whole situation so you, you don't to work one after the other on the space you have program so this one this space is for still to go to the next floor this is the atmosphere for the what we have on the ground floor plan so you may decide to leave it there for now for you not decide to leave them so everything we have done here according to the first floor plan has been what has been situated so what we need is to arrange and put the door and flip it so whatsoever that this side that needed to be occupied so this is the beginning of the mixes me i mean mixes design that will occupy four people that is four family one family will occupy two bedroom another family will occupy two bedroom on the ground floor then we are going to repeat one side at the top then change the design of this of this uh, second part in the next one so the next video is going to be what you are going to do so can you click like button at the same time share most especially subscribe to the channel